What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, but before I get to that, though, I just want to say, um, if you are one of the the many people who've happened upon my website or uh, this YouTube channel in the last uh, week or so, and you're checking me out, I just want to say I really appreciate it. I, I know a lot of people have been coming through uh, my various content platforms via all the uh, the Wicked Weed coverage from the past week plus. And um, hopefully some of you are hanging around a little bit from checking out some other stuff on the website and on the YouTube channel here. So I just wanted to say uh, welcome and I appreciate you checking me out. And hopefully you uh, enjoy the content that I'm putting out here at Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, that being said, let's get to uh, this next beer, which is from Thomas Creek Brewery in Greenville, South Carolina. This is the Appalachian Amber Ale. Uh, here's what the folks at Thomas Creek have to say about this beer. They call it full-bodied, crisp, and refreshing, an American amber ale with a multi-flavor, rich caramel color, smoky notes, and a smooth, aromatic finish. Uh, the malts they used are two-row pale, carapils, caramel 10, caramel 60, and black patent, patent. Hops used are Haller Tower, Tetnanger, and East Kent Golding, 6.8% ABV, 40 IBU. All right. So as I say, a nice deep, uh, deep amber color. I guess I say a caramel color. I would call that amber. And kind of goes into a little more of an orange with some goldish highlights as I hold it up to the light. About a finger's worth of head. You can see a fair amount of bubbles shooting up through the uh, through the glass. Um, that head seems to be hanging around a little bit. All right, let's get to drinking. Mm. 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 A massively multi beer, I must say. Um, wow. A bunch of breadiness, um, some of the caramel they talk about with the, the malts used. Um, not overly sweet, uh, but certainly some caramel notes there. A little bit of, of a spiciness, maybe. I think maybe that's what they're saying in the, the aromatic finish that they, they talk about. Uh, to me, it's kind of a little bit of a, a spiciness. Maybe just a very, very slight amount of bitterness in the in the back back end of the drinking experience, but um, really tasty for me. As I've said in the past, I'm I'm big on um on multi beers and amber ales and red ales and brown ales. It just uh, really the maltier the better for me. <laughs> Um, the, the description's pr essentially just right on. Uh, it is full-bodied. It is a uh, nice crisp beer. It hang around, hangs around a little bit. I'm getting kind of some of the residual hot bitterness that's hanging around and a little something else, too. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, again, I think it's just that spicy aromatic note that's... Uh, Again, at the very end. So th those are certainly hanging around. So it's not quite a... Uh, I, I don't know if I would quite use crisp as a, a descriptor. I guess it's maybe somewhat crisp. Semi-crisp, semi semi-dry maybe. Maybe something along those lines. But uh, really nice tasty beer. Right up my alley personally. And um, just a really... Really good stuff from Thomas Creek. It's an amber ale, so it's not going to be, you know, knocking your socks off with a, a ton of uh, notes of depth. But what it's doing, it does really well, I feel like. And so um, uh, kudos, to, kudos to Thomas Creek on this amber ale. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. 
Uh, coming up, I believe, uh, maybe this coming weekend or starting next week, uh, I'm going to start the, uh, what I'm calling Beers of Summer series. They might not all be summer seasonals, but that's a number of wheats and a number of uh, beer, beers for this uh, season. Kind of in the same vein of what I've done for uh, Oktoberfest and Christmas in the past. Um, excuse me. Uh, probably end up being two, uh, two beers per video, and I'm going to do either uh, probably two or two or three videos in the series, maybe a fourth one if I have enough. But I know I have enough to do at least at least uh, six different beers total for the series, and so that, I think that's going to be probably coming up. Um, probably not this coming weekend, but next weekend. I did say this weekend, but I meant next weekend. I think for maybe. Uh, the, the next video I release is going to be something of a special uh, special video that I'm really looking forward to, hopefully, provided it arrives. That's all I'm going to say for right now. But hopefully that will be coming to you uh, midweek next week. And then I can start the, uh, the Summer Beer Series next weekend. And you can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the, the description below. And if you are so inclined, please feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.